Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. And today is render review time. We've managed to get enough renders submitted on the subreddit, so let's jump right into this then. Thanks to everybody who subscribed and hit the notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course a huge thank you to my patrons and YouTube members. Your names are going to be running across the bottom of the screen. Thank you ever so much for your support. So this first submission is from Boz001 and it's a lady having a bit of a nap on a couch or a chair sorry first thing that i can say about this image is that the lighting is pretty solid it's um someone having a daytime nap which is nice glass of wine on the floor what i would say is that the shoes don't look like they're it looks a bit weird the way they are do you know what i mean and this is this is being picky of course but that's kind of why you submit because you want me to spot these things but it doesn't look like either of the shoes is making solid contact with the floor and that's probably because of the lack of contrast around this area but this second shoe looks like it's resting up against an invisible wall or something so that may be something to give a bit of thought to it's just the positioning of that. The The model itself, the skin texture is nice. It doesn't look too plasticky. The um, the hair is not a D-Force hair style. So you're obviously you're not going to get that kind of flopping that you um, that naturally would occur. But that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. There's only so much you can do with non-D-Force hair. The only real kind of criticism I have about the model positioning and it's really that there, there doesn't feel like there's any gravity impact affecting the model the d-force dress is obviously draped really nicely that looks really good but it looks kind of like she doesn't weigh anything maybe because there's kind of no deformation around the back of her legs or the way that the pillow doesn't seem to be kind of bearing any weight this just it feels artificial and that's that's a fairly minor complaint it's overall it's a really solid render the lighting is good the colors there the contrast is perhaps a little bit low but that's again a minor complaint yeah the the, the only real criticism i have for this is as i say that it doesn't look like the model herself weighs anything you know she, there's no kind of deformations happening anywhere but really solid render my friend you should be really happy with that one Moving on to our next one, this is from CalCG who submitted an awesome image from our last render review video. And again, Carl's gone with a very sci-fi kind of um, feel. A uh, really solid image this one. As I like the Dutch tilt that gives you the feeling of action. Um, it's a trick I use in my photography quite a lot, just adding a, a, a bit of a tilt to the image because it gives you that feeling of movement. You know, the model's really solid. It just really bright and colourful and it looks really good. This is a really solid image. Shadow's good. Contrast is nice. The, um, you know, it's, it's really hard to find anything that's actually wrong with this image because it's just really good um, all round. So um, <laughs> I'm not really sure that I can say anything constructive um, about it other than that, really. Yeah, really, really nice job, my friend. Really well done. Really impressed by that. This one is from one of our regular Sensi and this again is a really truly solid image he's obviously taken on board some of the lessons from the videos that we looked at and applied them here you've got a little bit of a god ray mist there which is creating this kind of morning haze you've got the really nice light patterns on the back wall caused by the blinds the model pose is really good the expression matches the pose you've you've not gone for the blank distant stare that the uh, dad's models have if i'm if i'm looking for something to offer you in terms of advice is maybe look at what we discussed in the video about creating indentations on soft surfaces just so that it looks like the bed's a little bit softer um because it looks a little bit too firm at the moment but like again really minor criticism for a really solid image you should be really happy with this one it's overall it's fantastic the skin shader looks really really realistic yeah genuinely nice job there my friend very well done very well done indeed 
So our next image is from Michael Buckley, who has submitted to this before as well. And again, with his hardware limitations that he currently experiences, he's got to be a bit selective about what he renders. But I'm really impressed by this image, Michael. It's really solid. The contact between the two models is there. There's a, an actual connection. They're making eye contact with each other. Um, I know it's kind of difficult to tell with a, with a robot, but you know, it's a really good solid connection that's being made there. The lighting is good. It looks like it's outside the hair. We've had a really, really good bunch of renders this week because again, given the limitations that you're up against in terms of hardware, not having anything particularly going on in the background is is perfectly acceptable. And, and you've tried, you know, you've tried using a background that's not just a plain color. And it looks really solid this my friend thank you ever so much for submitting this is another really good render very awesome and then the last one is from shining robot one and this is i think this is a window light it, it looks like it's being lit through a window with an hdri the pose looks a little bit it's hard to say I mean, it might be that she's in the middle of motion or you know that she's gesturing at something it just looks a little bit overposed, perhaps that's the word I'm looking for. But you know, it's not bad per se. It just it's, it's hard to see with these kind of shots where somebody's moving through something because people do stupid stuff when they're moving. <laughs> if you ever watch someone's those press photographs where the famous people get paparazzi and they're always pulling weird faces because humans just pull strange faces and stuff. Overall, this is good. It's fairly low contrast, which anyone who watches my um, videos will know that I'm a big fan of sort of images with a bit more contrast in them. It looks like she's trying to close the door with her bum, but she's not quite made contact with it yet. The outfit itself, it's not, gravity isn't affecting it. Now that might be because it's not a D-Force outfit and your the limitations are with that it make it a bit difficult but i think that's the thing that's making it look weird to me is the fact that the image itself doesn't appear to be affected by gravity in any way shape or form it looks like it's floating around her rather than hanging off her other than that i would say that the skin shade just needs a little bit of work because it's got a very barbie doll feel around the face overall it's a really solid render but yeah i'd say that the, the maybe find some clothing assets that work a little bit more with D Force. I mean, there's so there's a lot of assets now available that you can even make your own D Force assets, and maybe just look at adding a little bit more translucency to the skin shader, particularly around the face, because as I say, it just looks a bit bit too plasticky. But other than that, it's a really good render, my friend. You should be very happy with that one so that covers it for this episode of render review guys that's a really genuinely solid and impressive selection of images um i've really had a hard time finding anything to kind of say about them to be honest and that's that's what we like so don't be shy keep them coming use the link on my channel which will take you to the subreddit sign yourself up for reddit if you're not on there it's it's a perfectly safe site to use everybody uses it these days as much as they use twitter or anything else get yourself on there submit your images help by critiquing on other people's images i don't look at other people's comments on other images unless someone reports them for one of the you know for something because i want to kind of let the subreddit police itself the read the posting guide check out other people's work help out by commenting let me see your work and i will see you in the next one thanks very much for watching guys bye bye